As more and more children come down with COVID, many parents are asking why a vaccine has not been approved for kids under 12. One big reason for the delay is that the FDA changed the rules mid game. In July, the agency asked Moderna and Pfizer to double the number of children in their clinical trials. The request was made in an effort to have a better chance of catching rare side effects that could pop up. The FDA also asked for four to six months of follow-up safety data from the kids' trials instead of the two months required for adults. Now, the head of the National Institutes of Health says vaccines for kids will probably not be approved before the end of the year. This comes as a simulation released from a CDC-funded lab predicted that in elementary schools without masks or regular testing, 75% of kids could be infected within three months. Even with masking and tests, that number only fell to 22%. The team behind the simulation says imperfect mask usage and a lack of quarantining was factored into those results. But some experts think the NIH timeline is too pessimistic. One Stanford pediatric infectious disease expert told the New York Times she thought Pfizer would be able to apply for emergency use authorization for kids in October. And members of Congress, governors, and even the American Academy of Pediatrics are asking the FDA to prioritize vaccines for kids and give parents a clearer timetable. With the Y, I'm Reka Mutaraj.